Here's a little insight about a typical dinner at the Rocca home. If I'm not making one of my grandmother's ravioli dishes, I'm hitting buttons on my phone to maybe summon clam chowder to my door. This usually leaves me with between one and three dishes and a couple glasses. Then I take those dishes, put them into my dishwasher where they sit patiently until it fills up or I run out of dishes. Well, now you can clean up your chowder with a box on your counter. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. How's this for a crazy idea? Imagine a dishwasher small enough to place on counters with zero plumbing, heats water instantly, and can be used anywhere in the world where there's a power outlet. Meet Jerry Callahan, the man who turned that crazy idea into reality. So Tetra is a very unique product. It's a self-contained dishwasher that's super energy efficient, super water efficient. Does a full two-place cycle in 15 minutes with a gallon of water. I headed to Mount Pleasant, South Carolina to visit Jerry's company, Heatworks, where I learned his dishwasher actually sprung from technology he developed for an innovative water heater called the Model 3. It all starts with this. This is a resistance heating element. The world has been using electric resistance heating elements basically since 1851. And what happens is, is this thing gets really hot, like six or 700 degrees Fahrenheit, and then transfers the heat to the water. And what that does is the minerals in the water get fused or scaled or calcified onto that, which almost immediately reduces the efficiency, really shortens the life. All this scaling ends up falling off and getting in the bottom of your tank. Oh, gosh. That might have four or six inches of sediment in the bottom. So what did you do about it? So what happens when you have minerals in water? Well, it means that you can conduct electricity through the water. Sure. So I thought, well, why not use the water as a resistor? So the only way to do that was advance electronics and graphite electrodes, which transfer the electrical current into the water. And what that does is it increases the kinetic energy of the water molecules. They move faster when they collide with each other. They give up that additional kinetic energy in the form of heat instantly at the speed of light. Jerry patented his water heating technology and applied it to his countertop dishwasher. And so how does that translate into this beauty that we have? Well, the first thing we have is, of course, our technology, and this is a prototype for the thermal engine that goes inside of that. It's controlled by a circuit board, pretty much like this one. Underneath here is a reservoir. Again, you pour a gallon of water in, it automatically separates into three different categories. One is for the first wash cycle, and there's two rinse cycles. And then there's a pump in there that circulates. We really love design, and we thought, well, why not make it look fun? So, for example, these are all modular racks. So you can pull this one out. This one is for glasses. This is for, you know, uh, silverware. Uh, this obviously is for dishes. And then we have a separate rack for if you want to use baby bottles. I want to ask you about the design of this top right here, because these nice waves, they're visually appealing. I'm wondering, is there any additional function to them? Because the spinner water comes up from the bottom, uh, we actually decided we put some curves in here, which would help dissipate the water as it shoots up. Because if it was flat, if a jet came up, it would go straight back down. So can I now start the engines? Can we start the jets? There you go. OK. Three, two, fun. <laughs> now we don't have to just wash our dishes. We can watch our dishes, too. <laughs> it's a dishwasher. A dishwasher. <laughs>